If your dishwasher is underfilling, overfilling, or not filling at all, the cause could be a defective water inlet valve. The valve can fail either electrically or mechanically. To determine if the valve has failed electrically, you should test the valve coil for continuity, which will indicate whether or not a continuous electrical path is present. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance, or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Be sure to shut off the power supply to the dishwasher before you begin this test and remove the wires from the valve coil terminals. Now, use a probe to touch one of the terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows a result between 500 and 1500 ohms of resistance, the valve has continuity. However, if the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the valve has failed electrically and will need to be replaced. Determining if the valve has a mechanical defect can be more difficult. If the tub is underfilling, the inlet valve is probably restricted. In this case, you should simply replace the valve. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair. The tub overfilling is an indication that the valve may be stuck in the open position. One way to help determine this is to open the dishwasher door several times during the fill cycle. If the water continues to enter the tub after the door has been opened, the inlet valve is defective and will need to be replaced. If the dishwasher tub does not fill at all, you should first confirm that the water supply valve is turned on and that you have adequate pressure to the appliance. Next, if applicable to your model, make sure that the float can freely move up and down while listening for a clicking sound from the float switch. If no clicking sound is heard, you should test the switch to determine if it has continuity. If the switch is functioning properly, the most likely reason for lack of water is a defective inlet valve.